Hi everybody, welcome to the second screencast of the series 7 about Susan and today I want to show you how I made the geometry and how I calculated the projected area which we need for our drag coefficient calculation. Um, yeah, so let's directly start. So here is like the open foam case I am using. Um, this is nothing uh, special. I just downloaded one case uh, from my software homepage, right? So I think it was, I have no idea, some pimple foam and then I think I used this combustion chamber. I downloaded it, I cleaned all the files, so you see I only have the system file, constant folder, uh, system folder, constant folder and the original uh, boundary conditions here. However, I also already added some uh, arbitrary uh, boundary condition which we will talk about later on but not in this screencast. So the structure of these cases of general open foam cases should be uh, known now. If not, you should check out my screencast series number three, uh, four, where I explain everything about that. So today we want to create the Susan geometry and I show you how to do that in Blender. During this screencast we will work more often with Blender. Unfortunately the shift block extension for Blender uh, does not work for for my particular uh, version 2.76. I was checking it out yesterday but I could not get it up and running. So maybe I will investigate this in order to uh, work with this uh, Blender version because it's actually very nice. So in Blender just one um, important thing, uh, thing in Blender it is very useful to know keynotes, uh, no no keyword notes, um, some hot keys and uh, that's the reason why I, I showed it here yeah what I am pressing and what I'm doing maybe we could time out keys Maybe, yeah, we will let it there a bit longer. Okay, so you can follow what, what I'm doing. Shift, cap lock, tap, control, alt, and this one is a mouse, right? Left, uh, left mouse button, right mouse button, middle mouse button, and scrolling, okay. So uh, this is, if you open Blender, this is always the common screen. So you just press A, it's a small A, uh, to select everything here. Uh, you can see and then delete it so that we have a, a clean Blender um, screen here. So the next thing is we make a mesh. Uh, the Susan, so go to add mesh. It was already explained by Joseph in his introduction video. And now the problem is that based on where we align this curve, so here, yeah, if we add a new Susan, it's there. So the problem is it's not centered somewhere, and yeah, so if you want to make some background mesh around this, so it can get a bit difficult if you don't know the coordinate system. So with the right hand, right click, uh, right mouse button, you can shift our Susan now. While pressing or pressing X, Y, Z, you are only allowed to shift it in X direction, Z direction or Y direction. So very powerful. And on the left bottom corner here, you can always see what's going on. So you can do this also using G, the G and button. G is like for grabbing the guy and putting it somewhere else. And then if you put X, so back to the left bottom corner, you see in which position we are. And if you type a number now, you see that we will shift it via 0 0.2 meters. Okay, however, to get this uh, guy to the center here, 
have to create um, shift S and then first we say that the cursor should go to the center and the next one is the selection goes to the cursor right so our Susan is now in the center you see that Susan is not very happy because her skin is very uh, rough and she would like to have a nicer and um, smooth skin however you can use uh, this model also in this track coefficient calculation or in this competition However, I will show you now a few options how you can smooth and make it finer. So the first important thing is that we have different modes in uh, Blender. Here we have in the object mode, the edit mode and other modes. And this is just uh, one small piece of Blender what you can see here. Because we have here some menu, we can change here a lot of things. In addition, we can change from Blender Render to Cycle or Blender Game. So in the World Wide Web, we will find a lot of um, information about this. And also we can go to different, yeah, uh, I would say modules, which uh, offer you a lot of nice things. Maybe I will talk about that later on when, when there is time to make the post-processing in Blender. Okay, however, we will go to the edit mode now and in the edit mode we will see vertices, edges and faces. We can select these by um, changing it here and this symbol just let you know that you can see through your geometry. Yeah, So you could select this face at the back yeah, and while you unset it you can only select the guys which you see directly okay so if you would export this guy now blender would make some triangulation if you will go to file export stl and save it to some stl then it will triangulate the guy and save it as stl however keep in mind there are always options in um, blender like you can change the direction and for example if we would have here a second one uh, a second geometry then you can select if you only want to have the selected one to be exported or the whole geometry in general all geometries are exported simultaneously uh, but this is not what we need now okay so the first one is you can select everything um, with A and you can press W and you can subdivide everything and subdivide oh, and smooth everything yeah so you see it's getting smooth and subdivided you can make it even more and more so this would be our geometry after that you see it's not the best smooth thing but it's much better than before another option if we go back I cannot go back why oh I was I was too far too fast so the same thing you can do with W and just subdivide. Um, we should select error all and then subdivide. Subdivide so you see we subdivide all our faces but we keep actually the shape so there's no smoothing going on. However if you do so then you can make afterwards um, select everything again in the edit mode so on the left hand side you under tools you see some smooth vertices so you can smooth the vertices here are some options you can choose and then we will have a new geometry which looks different to the one we had before one remark here the eyes they are closed uh, not closed so it's they are opened can see here through 
which would be a problem in meshing after after we are using some meshing tool like snappy hex mesh and yeah so this is just some remark and this was the second the second way how you can refine our susan however there is a much better way to refine or to smooth out this uh, surface for that we will use some modifier which are very powerful and there is a modifier subdivision of the surface and yeah you can select so you see here is the normal one and then the smooth one if you keep this option you will see the original one to the smooth one and we just make it four times so this looks very very smooth and our Susan would be very happy to have such a nice skin so you can see her smiling I think she's waiting for a banana now to apply this um, modifier now um, you have to go to the object mode so press tap and you see this modifier is like a temporary uh, modifier which is not not activated right now or applied if we apply this so then everything is fine we have our susan mesh refined and you see how nice and smooth it is and susan is very happy now and this will be our our geometry for our model in the competition okay so the next thing is you can now save this as stl file right and this would be one boundary condition then in your, your case okay but before we do so we have the problem that there are these uh, holes here inside which will make trouble during meshing therefore we go to the mesh mode again or the edit mode here and we will change to add selection uh, add edge mode to the selection at edge, edge mode edge selection mode we select one one edge which is like at the outer corner here and then we do nothing then edge loop so it will get all the all the edges around this and after uh, pressing F we will make a new face inside here So you can see it from the inside and we, we generated a new face here which will close this gap however now you can of course make some intersection with these um, two objects here to get a very nice mesh but i will not do this here uh, because it's just a uh, just for fun project of course the same we will do here again and i think there is also for this edge loop a uh, hotkey that i don't know uh, but actually it doesn't matter too much. So now you see We have added here two new faces which will close actually everything The geometry is not waterproofed because the corners of Of these conos which is going inside the eye will not fit to the, the points of our introduced plane so I know you know what I'm talking about and yeah, but it is not very, uh, it's not of interest here. And the next thing is that if you are interested in making some patches or other things uh, in your geometry, because this is just a um, geometry which will put into the flow and we will cut out everything. However, if you want to refine something special here, uh, you can make patches in my particular case i want to have two patches at the yeah at the end or at the edge of of the ear of susan so to do that um, you can simply go to the face selection you can also work with the numpad so five is changing from orthogonal to parallel projection which is very powerful and then you can use the key 
um, to change the view, top, bottom, and so on. So now we have the top view, and I will select a few faces. You can select via right mouse button while keeping shift, otherwise you will just select one. The next thing is to press C to get a circle selection. While pressing shift, it's like deletion. The next one is to press B, which will be a box selection. And so you can select your different faces. So let's deselect everything always with A. And let's select some faces here. With the, the wheel of your mouse, you can make it bigger or smaller. So this is the first one. Maybe we will make a second one here. At the end, you will know why I did this. So this is not exactly the same, but doesn't matter. After that, you press P and separate selection. So what happened here, we just removed uh, these faces from our object one and moved it to another object two. You can rename this, of course, uh, to be ears. And this is Susan now without our ears. Actually, this would be just two patches. Okay, so far so good. Then we will select the Susan. We go to File, Export STL. We go to our phone case and the monkey, transient constant to tree surface. We name it Susan. And now here. Something is not correct here. Ah, okay. I had another version before. So let's see what, what happened now. If I selected everything or only the season head, so we will open Paraview, load our geometry. And you see Susan is exported uh, with our two holes. So we can go on, select the ears, go to file, export, STL, and we say ears, export it, and done. So this is how I build my Susan geometry with some special uh, patches here. You will see why I need this afterwards. And this was how I generated my Susan. And the next thing I want to show you is how I get the projected area of the Susan, uh, which is very easy. Um, but I will I will stop here because I wanted to keep the screencast shorter now um, and I will talk about the projected area in the next screencast. So I hope you enjoyed the video, you learned something about Blender and yeah, enjoy it and the next time we will talk about the projection of the area of our Susan head for our drag coefficient. So keep on going guys, see you soon, bye bye.